my horrible experience I have with my feet was when I bought a shoe and uh, my feet couldn't fit in. And um, I had to start walking to see if I had a bruise on my leg. I, like, I know that feeling. If your feet can talk, what will it say about you? <laughs> some people's feet will say bad things about them and some other people, it would compliment them and all. Today on Batterbox, I'm at Confidence Feet Exhibition where people would attend yoga sessions, seminars and also hot body massage, foot massage. All of this is to make sure that you know the importance of taking care of your feet and understand how it works. My name is Foley and this is Butterbox. Let's just move around, see and have fun and talk. How confident are you with your feet? Let's go. The Confident Feet Exhibition is a non-profit initiative powered by Pedis Box. It started off with a Happy Feet workshop from the Nail Bar, then a lecture on improving postural stability with yoga simple exercises to keep loving your feet by Breathe Studio. This is basically about standing poses of yoga that can help build solid and stable foundation in the feet. And ended with a lecture on spiral health posture wellness of the feet by certified chiropractor this is an awareness bringing people from all works of life to help them change the way they think about their feet and understand the importance of taking care of them it's to be my first um, speaker up and that's amani cosmetics um, your feet are a combination of three things. That is uh, your forefoot, which is your toes, your midfoot, your arches. Um, it has lots of benefits. It softens um, calcium. It's super important primarily because it allows you to move on to the next step, which is exfoliating your feet. What we're looking at is this neck area. It's in the middle here. Right now, you're looking at an uh, upper cervical that has misalignment, which is slowing down the blood flow, nutrients, and so on and so forth. Now, with a chiropractic adjustment, well, first of all, with a chiropractic analysis to figure out which area or areas to adjust, what we do is we make a specific adjustment to the neck area to bring the neck back on straight. I wanted to add another thing about yoga. One, one thing we also focus on in yoga is about lengthening. If you notice with your spine, maybe we you kind of showed it on the whatever, you have a lot of muscle, a lot of bones attached to your spine. You should lift something that needs good muscles. It's going to be trying to hire other muscles around to help with and these muscles are not built for that. Which area works best for the for the for the pose? So I'm trying to find the balance there. And once I find the balance there, my ankle is locking. I'm finding balance in my knee. It's coming up to my hip. I'm trying not to move forward and back. It's coming up to my hip. So all of this I'm doing now, I'm distracted. I've forgotten even my legs up because I'm strong enough to hold it up. I'm kind of distracted. So as you're breathing in, you're losing focus, you're losing the tension on your leg and your sympathetic nervous system starts to starts to reduce.
when last did you actually visit a pedicure? Um, a few weeks ago, actually. Yeah, I was on holiday, so. Like once in three months. Yeah, once. Yeah, once in three months. Two years ago. Two days ago. No, two years ago. Two years, two years ago. ago. Yeah, because I, I don't go to any other uh, spa other than the nail bar. You should look it up on Instagram and any other social network that's available to you because it's the only place where your feet will get treated like royalty. I haven't been in two years, so but I plan on going there. Only two, three months ago. Two, three months. Not so bad. I've had not two bad. Years. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> because I dance and I jump rope, so my feet is is always on the move so i really like i take care of it i take i like i take in fact i can't explain it don't worry the truth is that i don't think i've visited a pedicure but i actually know when to clean up yes i know when to clean it up like i do like once in a month So now, um, I want you to like share like maybe one horrible experience you had with your feet. Like maybe you stepped your feet on somewhere or you hit your feet or whatever. Like a horrible experience. Like hmm. It happened almost three years now. I had an auto accident that almost claimed my two legs. It's kind of reduced me to very flat. So I'm nearsighted. So there was this like rise in the entryway of my house and I just walked right into it and my like... You should clip your toenails because my toenails just dug into the bed of like my feet and it, it hurt like hell. No. I think I was closing the gate and um, it had nicked the back of my ankle. It's not exactly my feet, but that hurt and it was a really bad experience, I guess. I had blisters. The time I had blisters, like, my leg was really swollen. That was bad. I can't, I don't really know. I don't know. I can't explain it though, but I just woke up and it was just by the day it was increasing. I actually have a scar like at the back of my foot, okay. right here. Oh, what happened? Um, my dad gave me a tray, but this happened when I was younger, okay. of glass like to take down the stairs. And then when I got down the stairs, the door was locked, so the whole tray fell on my leg. And I had a cut, so I had to get it stitched. I was broke and I didn't have money. And then I was doing dance full time. So I had one socks. So you can imagine what that would speak. And then I didn't take care of my feet. And um, it's I started developing issues with my feet. I had to sit down, take a few steps back. And I told myself, listen, I would rather go broke than my feet to be the way they are right now. So I spent a lot of money taking care of them. And at the same time, I invested in buying socks every day. My horrible experience I have with my feet was when I bought a shoe and uh, my feet couldn't fit in. And um, I had to start walking to see if I had a bruise on my leg. I, like, I know that feeling, I can relate. <laughs> so when I got in front of my clients, I was like, oh, good afternoon everyone. My name is Ray. I'm here to just give you something. I know you're going to like at the end of the day. I was like, what them? Are you sure you're okay? I said, yeah. And um, within the next 30 minutes, I had to just go down to the ladies and just remove the shoe and put on flat. Cannot come and see yourself. Trust me. And the funniest thing in this part of the world, the first thing people look at is from your feet before they know who you really are. So between your toes, like everything, the more they move, the more blood can flow, okay? So I used to step on our toes, we don't give it any... Well, foot massage is one once in a while, but we don't really give it as much stretch as we should. What I do is I put my fingers in between, in between my toes, as much as I can, and I just grab onto it like that. Grab onto it, move it forward, move it back, move it side to side. So the more you can push your fingers in, the more you can open out that between your toes. Your toes are used to just staying like this. They don't open as much. So if you do that, just do that for a few seconds. Do that for a few seconds. You'll see the difference. Just now, now, now. 
just keep pushing down here and just twist the around. Creating space for you need to do. Create space between your toes. Now, what is your shoe size? Okay, we're 44, 45. Yes. I'm on size 45, which is an 45, uh, which is an equivalent to the US 13. Um, so my shoe size, if you look at it, you will notice that they are very small. But the truth about it is, I'm a 44. I wear a US size nine. Finally, after the seminars, people had free yoga classes, foot rub massages, body waxing, and of course, ended with networking, laughs, food, and drinks. You would, your hand, you would write three, and then you also write six with your leg at, at the, the same, same time. time. Yes. Are we good to go? Uh, yeah. All right. Okay. Go. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> At the same time, <laughs> it was a fun experience. I enjoyed playing, having fun, and doing the three six game. I really want you to try that and let me know if you actually got it as well as share with me your horrible experience with your feet. How confident are you with your feet? This is Confident Feet Exhibition and it was awesome, superb, wonderful. Thank you so much. My name is Foley and this is Butterbox.